In this video, I'm gonna go through five awesome Instagram hashtag tips you can use right now. Hey everyone, Stephen here, aka Mr. DJ, with yet another video for the DIY Musician Guide. Right, regardless of what you think about Instagram these days, you know that it's basically turning into Facebook. Well, I still kind of think it's a fun micro-blogging tool. Anyway, although I'm not an expert by any means, I do like to give my photos their best shot when I post something. So, I thought I'd put together these five hashtag tips I've been using recently. So. Here we go. How many hashtags? We all know we should be using hashtags in our Instagram posts to give those posts a little bit more reach. But how many hashtags should we be using? Well, the current consensus is that 30 seems to be the maximum amount of hashtags you can include in a post. If you add any more than that, the post may be flagged as spam in Instagram. Now, I've got no proof of that. Just take that with a pinch of salt. It's just something I've heard on my travels, my online travels. Anyway, with that said, I don't actually recommend using all 30 hashtags in your posts. It all depends on how much text you're putting in there. For example, if you just added one line of text to describe your photo and then added 30 hashtags, it would look really really weird and also really spammy. So I just try and find a balance between how much text you add and how many hashtags you have. Now we know how many hashtags to add. How do we find them? How to find hashtags. For this tip, we could quite easily jump into a third party hashtag finding service. But you know what? It's so super simple to just use Instagram itself. And to be honest, that's what I do. Now what you want to do is pick a starting hashtag, something just to get the ball rolling. Uh, for example, musician, but it could be any hashtag or anything that describes your post at a glance. Then just perform a search of that hashtag either in the app or desktop version of Instagram and note down the other options that appear as you type. If any of these are relevant to you, then note them down. You'll also want to click through some of these tags and select a photo that's similar to what you post and note down some of their hashtags too. Do this for any starting hashtag that describes your post. So at the end of doing that, you'll probably end up with a good bunch of hashtags. But how do you decide which hashtags to use in your post? How to filter hashtags. So yeah, now we have our hashtags and we have to decide which ones we're gonna use. And to do this, we're basically gonna filter out the ones that are too competitive. There's no point throwing in hashtags that are bringing back millions of views. That's far too competitive and we'll just get lost in the stream of other photos. So you wanna be a bit cleverer and go for a tag you can actually compete for. Here's an example. If say I were to add a hashtag like musicians, the example I gave before, you can see that it brings back just under 10 million posts. Now my post has got to be absolutely amazing to get noticed because millions of people are using that hashtag. So what do we do instead? So what I try and do is aim for hashtags that bring way less results, but are still worth going for. For example, Music Project brings back about 50K results. That in theory should be easier to get into that top nine section, which is the most viewed for that hashtag. So armed with that info, you can create all your hashtags and throw them on every post you ever make. Well, well actually. Create hashtag lists. Quick tip, and this is another one which I've come across on my online travel, so do take it with a pinch of salt, as it could be regarded as an urban online myth. When you're adding your hashtags to your Instagram posts, don't just add the same hashtag list to your posts over and over again, because to Instagram, this will look spammy. Because if you think of it from Instagram's point of view, if you're just posting the same list, it's not really going to be correctly describing what's in that photo, unless you're just posting the same photo over and over again. So you need to create different lists. Saying that you can alternate these lists. So having made a bunch of these Instagram lists, is there anything that we can do to make this whole copy and pasting procedure, this process a little bit more efficient and you know convenient? Well, I'm glad you asked. How to create hashtag shortcuts. Okay, rather than actually just copying and pasting one of those selected lists over from your phone or whatever, into Instagram, you can actually set up keyboard shortcuts on your phone. Here's how to do it on your iPhone. Okay, what you wanna do is go into the settings menu on your iPhone and tap on general. 
then scroll down and tap on keyboard and then tap on text replacement. Once we're in here, we can add our shortcut. So to do that, just tap on the plus icon on the top right and then you'll want to paste in your hashtag list in the phrase section. And finally, we want to just add our shortcut, which is basically the shortcut that will display our list in full when we write it out somewhere. So for this example, I'll just call it dot music tags i like to add a full stop at the start of my shortcuts just to try and avoid any accidental uses elsewhere right to get it to work all you have to do is just type that shortcut in anywhere and press the space bar with the space button uh, when the preview appears and that's it it's as easy as that Okay, that's pretty much it for our five Instagram hashtag tips. But before we go, I'm going to give you three really important things to note. Three really important things to note. Okay, number one, Instagram's algorithm can change at any day. So hashtags that might work really well one day might just be awful the next because of the algorithm. Okay, number two, there are a lot of third party apps out there that people use to search for hashtags and like the post automatically. So basically you might get more likes as a result of this, but be aware these people aren't there, so they may as well not even exist. Okay, and finally number three, and this is a bit of an obvious one really, regardless of how amazing or special our hashtags are, the photo has to be good. That's what really matters <laughs> at the end of the day. So yeah, I'm in the same boat. That's the hardest part of this. It doesn't matter how many likes we get because the photo at the end of the day is the most important part. Anyway, I will leave it there then. If you want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time in another video. I stream on Twitch every weekday morning. So if you want to come over and ask me a question or just have a brew with me, I'll be there. See you later.